Hey everybody, this is Pest Rhino. I'm um, doing a video here on this Sunday. I um, wanted to go through my current build situation with the four uh, rippers and then I'm going to talk to you about the next build. Um, I'll probably also do a video about what prizes the guys won in the giveaway. Um, First gentleman, the first winner, got a 3D printed ripper chassis, a lay down servo mount, a set of links, and a set of LGRP shocks. So that's a pretty good haul. Uh, the second person is getting the um, shoot, the Mias chassis, the carbon fiber Mias chassis, and a set of wheels and tires, um, probably a pair of shocks too. He's kind of leaving it up to me, so I'm kind of picking and choosing uh, what to give him. I think that's a good combo though, the, the carbon fiber chassis, the blue shocks, and then set the DJ crawler tires with the um, rotary wheels so but anyway let's get started on the old builds so first build up is blue blue wheels blue diff covers blue transmission blue transmission plate it has Mias links it has GPM drive shafts, uh, lay down servo mounts provided by Mias, Mias, um, Mias servos. This has trio axles, non portal. It has Mias wheel weights, as you can see in there behind that wheel. LGRP Swamp King tires. These are trail wheels with Maz Designs bead locks and miniature hardware. Um, for electronics, we got a Radio Links receiver, six channel. Uh, and we have a Ferrotech uh, Lizard Ultimate ESC along with. A lizard micro komodo not lizard furotech micro komodo motor we have mia's headlights we have mia's uh, light bar and i think trail shocks sorry almost forgot the shocks so i think that is this build it's got a 3s battery all ready to go waiting on its livery its siding all that will be wrapped in a cool custom wrap next we have red um, actually sorry we have orange get them confused I can't tell the difference between orange and red uh, orange Endure wheels with orange Endure beadlocks. We got LGRP Swamp King tires. We have Endure shocks on this. We have Trill brass links. We have a Trill brass transmission plate. We have GPM drive shafts, as always. This one has Mias portal axles and we have our little cool um, ramp crab wheel weights and extenders this has NS RDC servos two of them this one has the same receiver all of the trucks have the same receiver which is a Radio Link 6 channel. This one has the Python Pro 
ESC. It's got a 3S battery. And if you look in there, it's got the brand new Furitech Cedar motor. This also has headlights, roof light. And I think that's everything on that. Of course, me has to lay down servo mounts that come with their axles, so that's truck number two. Truck number three, red. Red, we have Enjora wheels, Enjora bead locks. We have um, trail shocks. We have trail links. We have a trail red base plate. We have trail diff covers red this has trail portal axles um, NSRDC red servos I should point this down a little bit uh, make that easier shocks and like I said that um, electronics are the Furitech Lizard Ultimate ESC 3S LiPo radio link six channel receiver and this one also has the mini kimono Komodo motor uh, this one also has the ramp crab wheel weights because honestly, they're the only ones that will fit on these Enjora wheels. That's the third one. Fourth up to bat is almost complete. We've got Mias, Mias portal axles. we got trail diff covers. We have Mias lay down servo mount. We have NSDRC servo. That's the RS100, by the way. Um, trail shocks, trail brass links, uh, trail transmission plate, um, GPM drive shafts, again as always, trail wheel weights and extensions. I haven't mentioned the transmission in the last three. The blue one has a trail transmission with Mias racing gears, speed gears. The other three have hot racing transmissions with hot racing, very low crawling gears. It's a 68 to one. Uh, should go very smooth, very slow. Uh, electronics basically the same we've got the lizard ultimate esc we've got the radio link six channel which is in every single one of them we've got roof light we got headlights this will have trail wheels with mass design bead locks that are wrapped and it also has the three nine or three flow nine RC hubcaps or center hubs locking nut system. It's going to be pretty cool. If you notice, they were also on blue. So that's the four builds. Uh, the green one will be done Monday. And then I'm just waiting on the vinyl. Once the vinyls get here, all four of these will be finished with charged batteries ready to go. Next, we'll do some crawling. We'll, do, well, I'll run them around the desk a couple times and I'm gonna make plans to take them to a crawl place that's got a crawl track. And we're gonna do some cool pictures and displays hopefully that we can uh, um, get approved by Mias to be used for certain things so that's the end goal so let me clear these out here real quick and then we'll go into my next new build
and they're all different heights too due to their axles and shocks so um, you'll see that the orange one is really low and that's because it doesn't have any springs um, but if you actually look at it because of the non portal axles uh, the blue is the lowest one so all right a lot of info so far right uh, once i get to running those um, i'm gonna do some videos on which is the best i mean we know they all have the best in them um, but you know like between Endure and Trill shocks between Endure or not Endure Trill and Mias portals things like that all right so what are we doing for the next build well it's changed I was going to do another ripper um, but then Mias brought to my attention the trailing arms and the trailing arms can only be used on stock or something I just received today. A Mias low center of gravity carbon fiber chassis. So I'm going to be using this chassis, which I've never used before, so this will be nice. This chassis with the trailing arms. Um, I got a set of links and I'll be honest, I might buy another set of these links to put on one of the four, um, rippers. I've got three of them that have the trio brass links, but these, I just got these in and I've not ordered them before because I didn't realize they were round, but these are the new Mias links oh my lord these are cool well, these don't look like high links they're not but especially for the truck with the trailing arms these links are going to be awesome they're heavy too they're really heavy that's why i'm thinking about maybe swapping out one of the others i'll look into it but for this build, we've got these round brass, solid brass links. Not adjustable, but we don't need adjustability because we have trailing arms that we'll be using in the rear instead of those links. Um, I've got, let's see what else I got. Um, I've got the front chassis with lay down servo mount. Brand new, never opened. I have the rear axle portals that I've never used. Obviously all my trucks are four wheel steer, but this one will not be because this one's gonna have trailing arms and be a pre-runner it's going to be badass. Um, I've ordered a brand new Bronco shell because I've gotten rid of all of my shells. So this will be a Bronco. Um, and I'll cut it out and I'll make it into a pre-runner form. And it's going to have LGRP tires on Beadlux. I'm not sure which ones, but I'll figure that out. I uh, have this extra red transmission plate. I have a red transmission with gears, but I'm going to put the high speed gears in it. Um, I have ramp crab wheel weights extenders. I have a set of Endura red shocks. Now, I've got two sets of Mias shocks coming 
um, that I'm probably going to use on this build for sure, at least one set. But you can put two sets of shocks in the rear, so I might do a set of shocks and a set of their other ones. I got a set of Minus drive shafts, um, which I may or may not use. It depends on how it turns out. I would like to get another set of GPMs um, for this project, but I'm trying to do this budget wise. I got, you know, five grand and rippers sitting here, so I kind of like to do this one cheaper, <laughs> even though everything that's in it is high end so far. Everything else is going to be made by Uki Shiki, which is going to be selling parts on Amazon. Uh, you guys, here's what you should do. Here's what I do. Almost every day, at some point during the day, I type in TRX 4M into Amazon, and then I sort it by newly listed. And what you get is the newest company that's selling all the same crap as everybody else does. It might just be a bunch of letters. It might be numbers and letters. It might be a word or a misspelled word. It's hilarious. You guys should do it. And every day you'll see something new. And it's oh, it's entertaining to me. So um, I have Mia's light kit, light bar, and regular headlights. What else I got in this little bucket? Um, I got some trill lower links, which I'm not going to need. I got a bunch of, I don't know what I did wrong, but somehow I've got so many extra sets of roof lights. I got two Enjoy roof lights that I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So, I don't know. I got two full sets of Mias lights and two Enjoy roof lights, so... Maybe I'll put four roof lights on one of these. No, I'm not going to do that. But anyway, I've bought extra parts that I don't know what to do with. So, um, so I think that's pretty much... I've got bumper mounts coming. I don't have bumpers coming. Because, as you know, when you have one of these LCG chassis, you got to buy the, the bumper mounts. Um, I think I'm going to have a front bumper. This is going to be my turn to do a realistic build. Um, I've not really done one because it's not my thing. But since I'm going to be able to do the pre-runner with these trailing arms, I might as well have some fun with it and kind of build it into a actual vehicle-looking vehicle. So... We'll see. Um, what else? I think that's it for today. I know that's everything I have in. So uh, the winner's prizes will go out on Monday. Um, and then when we hit 300, I'll do another drawing. Uh, 400, we'll do another drawing. And then 500's the big one. So. You know, I know we're only at 264, something like that. Maybe 274. I don't know, somewhere in there. So I'd like to. Right now, I'm focused on 500. If we could do 500, that would be impressive to me. Uh, I know it's not 16,000 like the other RC guys, but I don't need 16,000. I got five die-hard awesome RC followers right hello hello anybody anyway prizes about on Monday my builds I'll have all the rippers done Monday waiting on graphics but you're gonna freak out on the graphics I'm gonna try and get more of my graphics made so that I can maybe sell them or give them away at certain points um also here this is a good task for you guys please 
I've had guys bring up maybe making, I should make Pistol Rhino t-shirts. Um, you know, I could sell my Pistol Rhino vinyl wraps. And the whole reason I would do it, like I told you, I'm not in it for money, but if I could sell those items to get a little money to make the giveaways bigger, I would do it. I mean, if anybody's interested, if anybody's interested in shirts or stickers or whatnot, the only way I would sell it is if all the profit went to prizes for the followers of this group. So you guys let me know. What would you want to buy that says Pest Rhino on it? Um, there's my cup with Pest Rhino. Buy some plate frames with Pest Rhino. I mean, what would you like to see? If anything, if nothing, don't comment. That's fine. I get it. I wouldn't either. Um, I've only bought a few shirts from people I watch online, but, uh, I don't know. It's some people brought up some ideas and I wanted to get everybody's ideas. So comment below what you would want to purchase if I could put together a little pissed rhino store. Uh, what would you be interested in? Um, truck stickers, ripper stickers, regular stickers, t-shirts, hats. I don't know. I'm not, again, all profits would go to prizes for the followers of this channel. So if that sounds like something cool, it's kind of like you're investing in your own prizes. So, you know, you spend 20 bucks and then some down, sometime down the road you win a $200 truck or something. That's pretty cool. Pretty good return on investment. So just let me know. Comment below. Be serious. Let's see what we can do. If we can turn this into something more than just a video. But something that everybody gets involved in. And if you don't, that's fine too. I'll just do my little videos and um, reviews and stuff like that. And I'm fine with that. But I've got time to throw together other things. So just let me know. Alright. I'm done rambling. You guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday, Monday, and I will talk to you again very soon with new videos. Thank you. Bye.